Hola a totes les amigues i els amics per l'entrevista final de l'any d'aquest desembre i per desitjar-vos uns bons Nadals. No us podríem imaginar la millor persona per ser entrevistada que la mateixa Turandot que ens va cantar el dia de l'assaig fa pocs dies, que encara ressona les seves notes a les nostres oïdes i per això tenim amb nosaltres la senyora Ekaterina Semenchuk. Ms. Semenchuk, thank you very much for accepting to be in front of the Friends of the Liceu. It's an honor for us, as we say because you have been before your premiere of this run of Turandots with us at the Prove, at the General, say, and we are very, very happy to have been able to hear you before the, the premiere. So thank, thank you. you very much for your art and this opportunity. We, the Friends of the Liceo, are a little bit curious and we always begin our interviews asking the same question, which is how you decided to, you know, start singing and uh, becoming an opera singer. You know, it's, uh, it's also probably a very common answer that uh, when I was born, my voice was uh, too loud, maybe. Oh, wow. <laughs> and, and my mom, when she heard me for the first time, she said she will be a singer. So since uh, I was born, uh, I, was, I, w I grew up in a very like, musical family. They weren't mu musicians, professional musicians, but all of them, they love music very deeply and support me every day all my life to become opera singer to become a musician mm -hmm. so you know it was very difficult job between uh, to be a doctor or become musical musician uh, also i start to play accordion mm -hmm. and some other instruments so but the voice always gave me the way show me the way yeah true so my voice always you know protect me from other uh, not correct uh, de decisions <laughs> that's the most beautiful way of of you know i've ever heard about a voice like your voice yeah. is your protective you angel know, uh, in my family m h half of my family they were uh, doctors. Mm -hmm. So once I start to understand what is it, the human voice and the power of the human voice, I felt that the human voice, as we know, and the music in general, is a medicine for all of us, True. for each soul. And uh, we know many examples in the life when human voice help people to make right decision help people in illness, in deep depression or other things. So, you know, maybe it's a bit pathetic, but uh, I decided to be a singer also because of uh, talent who, which I received from the God and because to bring to the people this kind of help Yes, you're a healer as yeah. well. Is it? Yeah. Absolutely, it's, I couldn't it's, agree more. It's, very, it's, it's kind of a pathetic answer, but no, no, no. I like very much my mission. And uh, honestly, my all, all my life devoted to this uh, kind of gift I received from the God and my parents and my grandparents and all my family roots. So this is what I can not only produce, but also give to the universe, to yeah. the people, to the God. Well, I think the evidence so far, since I've seen you in Macbeth or in oh. the general <laughs> rehearsal uh, last Friday, I think the evidence is there. <laughs> the voice and the warmth that you emanate and I mean the bravos that you received the other day uh, from the Amix del Liceo, I mean you can't really tell. You know the first, first meeting with Liceo Opera House was very special for me and not even a year ago but several months ago when I for the first time in my life performed here in also very difficult production and performance of my favorite composer Verdi so Macbeth in new production, uh, very special for this theater and for, in general, for the music art and the world. I think it's, for me it was very interesting experience and uh, I felt myself very happy and deeply moved with the 
all the details I receive from uh, stage director. Uh -huh. And I love very much the art and being part of this kind of new art composition, performance, it was for me a very big moment also. And I felt very, I felt myself very easy and uh, welcome on stage, uh, in public and choirs, amazing. Yeah, and... Extra musician. But choirs for me, for the first time in my life, I met many mu musicians around the world. Uh, many of them, they follow from the uh, one production to another production in Spain and Italy. And we met recently for twenty last 20 years. But here in Liceo, it's a very special group of people, mm -hmm. very warm and uh, highly, you know, the level of uh, the uh, professional professionality of those uh, singers in choirs so high and they really like they love music voices mm -hmm. and they they so kind and they know exactly about how to breathe how to think how to warm up even everything mm -hmm. so they listen very carefully to you each performance each rehearsal and they work so mm, they're not working like four percent, you know, like twenty percent, like full, not full voice, like a little bit. They tired or something. They always work and sing fully, uh, emotionally. I mean, mm -hmm. like, like it's, it's la last performance, like it's last time to perform, even during the rehearsal period. So, to have support of the choirs on stage. This is the biggest luck and happiness for the any singers. And they are quite important both in yeah. uh, Macbeth and, and Macbeth, Turandot. We yeah. always have our important entrances mm -hmm. together with choirs. True. So here also in, in Turandot. And uh, you know, to be here again and receive such a warm uh, reception and support, it's uh, also gave me a lot of courage and uh, happiness and quietness, mm -hmm. you know, to be supported of such incredible musicians and nice people. It's, ah, it's a big luck. That's an it's, honor. It's a really big luck. To hear that. Yeah. Uh, you were mentioning the, the production of Macbeth. Was it a challenge for you to, to face that production? Uh, was no, it was uh, for me. Uh, it wasn't the first production like Turandot. Mm -hmm. Turandot is my first uh, and uh, debut mm -hmm. for me in a role. So I took this uh, with pleasure because uh, I knew about uh, very famous production of Turandot and Liceo. And uh, I was, it's also like, you know. But Macbeth, it was new production and uh, for me it was very tight schedule. I flew uh, between uh, Rome and uh, Barcelona every day. In mm -hmm. uh, oh, wow. Rome, I perform a new production uh, of uh, Aida, mm -hmm. which was broadcasted also. The one with the screens yes, and the movie. And play. Play. Yes. Yeah, and uh, every day, you know, it was very difficult, and uh, you know, I was uh, very thankful to myself, I'm thankful now also, that I wasn't so lazy and uh, every day I did some gymnastics, some, True. you know, exercises to help my body and mind to protect myself from all this illness and tiredness because it was really difficult schedule. But same time, uh, I found very easy to jump inside of this idea uh, to, to do Macbeth. Mm -hmm. From the first rehearsal, it was very easy. And, uh, you know, each performance was very easy. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel any tiredness. I, feel, I felt only uh, the happiness. Oh, that's actually. fantastic. No, music and stage give me a lot of happiness. So maybe sometimes I feel like I'm more happy on stage, not more happy, but I'm more free, I'm more easy to uh, explain who I am 
through my voice and through my free body. Mm -hmm. Because on stage I feel my body more than every day. So let's say I feel on stage like a fish in the water. That's perfect. Yeah. And you went from a modern production here at Liceo, like yeah. Plensa's Macbeth, yeah. to Nuria Spert yeah. slash Barbara's. You know, the, uh, the big luck for me also that uh, since I start to sing, since I start to sing in general, and then professionally also very early I start to sing. I came to to the professor of conservatorium in uh, 14 years old, mm -hmm. so it's quite early. And uh, my professional life uh, started so early. And uh, my first performance on stage, actually, it, it's so funny. I did uh, nurse in uh, Eugene Onegin mm -hmm. when I was 18 years old. Oh, wow. <laughs> anyway, uh, so since I played very old lady in 18, 18 years <laughs> old, and uh, through all my life, I performed many kind of styles. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, like in music, so I do contemporary music, I do Verdi, now Puccini, I did uh, Mozart, Rossini, many different, I love French music and especially yes. Berlioz. Yeah. My favorite role is Le Troyen, Dido. And, uh, you know, so all my life I met, um, meeting many wonderful stage directors and conductors and my colleagues, artists, singers, we are all different. So from maybe from this difference, uh, I'm able to perform any kind of style mm -hmm. even in, uh, on stage. So any kind of stage directors, I first I try to understand the idea and make it mine. So I must say, I'm also very lucky that I met in my life 99, 99 and 9 fantastic musicians and very talented people. That's great. And wonderful. I had chance to work with the great names, uh, not like great names by publicity, but really great artists in my life who I, you know, took very deeply, personally, to understand the ideas, not only for this performance, but we did several different productions this last 20 years. And I remember each production, each uh, meeting, e even rehearsals, mm -hmm. and really love to rehearse. And I was lucky this time that I have only chance to perform and rehearse during this time of Turandot, only Turandot. So, no other productions. Even I had the possibility to, yeah. to, to do different kind, different kind of performances and rehearsals. But I'm very grateful to my also manager that we decided to, to go only on Turandot and make my clear debut, not make me tired yes. and easy to not uh, let me, you know, catch a cold somewhere, just easy going and being in Barcelona theater and taking this wonderful opportunity to do for the first time such a great role. That's great. And how are you facing it? Because tomorrow is the day, if I'm not wrong. And uh, how are you facing it? No. <laughs> is it? Is it? I assume I, I could be like you know like this is such a huge role. So how how are you just you know this is it? really huge role. Uh, it's not long like Dido in Le Troyen. It not like not long not long like uh, Dido uh, Dalila in Samson and Dalila mm -hmm. because I'm a mezzo soprano and uh, during my life I'm performing. I perform mostly roles for mezzo soprano contralto, uh, but uh, since I did for the first time Macbeth, let's say like eight years ago in, Val in Valencia, yeah, it was production by Peter Stein, and my partner uh, as uh, Macbeth was Placido Domingo, mm -hmm. with whom I did several productions around the world, also in Los Angeles, 
äh, in St. Petersburg, äh, in Deutsche oder in Staatsoper Berlin, äh, where else? <laughs> anyway, so he invited me to do Lady Macbeth mm -hmm. eight years ago, and since I did Lady Macbeth, uh, slowly, slowly uh, working a lot, very hard. I added to my repertoire some very important soprano roles like Lady Macbeth of Kumtsensk yeah. by Shostakovich, uh, uh, Mother in the Prigioniero, Della Piccola. This is very difficult. <laughs> uh, then uh, I add last year Lisa in Pikovaya Dama Tchaikovsky. And Abigail also last Oof. year in Nabucco. Another easy one. Yes, another <laughs> easy one. And now it's a time for Torandot. Torandot. Uh, I must say this is a very strange story. Uh, 2000, actually my Trovatore Azucena for the first time, I also made my debut in Valencia. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was 10 or 8 years ago also. Quasi the same time with Macbeth. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the first time in this production, uh, guided by uh, Zubin Mehta, who also invited me and I was doubt to perform Adzucena for the first time because I was thinking that Adzucena could be a very old lady and very mature singer with singing like, oh, 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 oh. See, si, si, si. you really have to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So anyway, it was a big challenge for me, but uh, I said several times no, but they, they were very kind to understand my green decision. <laughs> so they waited and uh, finally we did fantastic job with uh, Gerardo Vera, mm -hmm. who was a stage director. So that time in cast was uh, my friends, uh, Maria Gresta, Sí. Know, who is going to sing here? Yes, today. Liu. Yeah. And she was singing that time uh, for the first time Leonora. And Jorge de Leon, who was my son Manrico, also for the first time he was singing this uh, Trovatore. So when we did first rehearsal, for me also for the first time, after the rehearsal, Maria Gresta said to me, You know, Katy, you're going to be wonderful tour and tot. I said, don't tell me this, it's uh, ridiculous, you know, I'm for the first time singing Azucena, this is the already like contralto with her top notes, but she said, no, no, you will see, you will, you're going to, to do Turandot, you have the wonderful opportunity. And here we are. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> here we are. And uh, I met her now and I said to her like, Maria, your dream came true, yeah. That's perfect. Not only here. <laughs> <laughs> and you are going to have the honor to sing the 100th yes, performance yes. of this title here at the Liceo. Already we, we met you for the rehearsal upstairs and uh, I was singing full voice and she was listening to me and I saw on her face like she was so happy and you know, it's one of the example of colleague of singers who are always full of happiness when the other singer or artist doing well. So Maria and Jorge, they are really great examples mm -hmm. of uh, people who, who has big, big heart. Not only they're great musicians, because they're great musicians, because in their souls very clear and open. Yes, let's say one thing goes with the other, yeah. no? I'm deeply, uh, you know, I, knew, I know it, that your voice, the quality and uh, the humanity of your voice, understand your voice became a, a language. Mm -hmm. Only when here you have quietness and, uh, you know, open soul, heart, and you really like giving without sure. any waiting. Well, you, what you're saying at the very beginning that you, by doing this, you're healing a lot of people yeah. and mostly in Not troubled only times. Me, but in general, True. this is the kind of uh, our um, life. True. Yeah. And one last question, Senora Semenchuk. 
which role are you looking forward to just perform one day? Oh my god! <laughs> Actually, uh, I would love to do more uh, Lady Magath of Seance, okay. Katerina Zmailova, and more Lisa and Pikova Dama, and of course more Turandot, Abigail, Macbeth, and other roles like Medea like Gioconda. Oh, beautiful. Uh, I would love to, and uh, many others, you know. For example, in my life, I did not so many Sansone Delilah, but, you know, this role also so beautiful, and the music just unforgettable. Hmm, you true. Start, the, when orchestra start and choir start to sing, this is unforgettable. You, like, already went into the cathedral. That's great. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time. We wish you the best Sorry, and we can yeah. only, no, no, on the contrary, and we can only cross our fingers to see you and listen to your magnificent voice for many, many years to come. And once again, thank you very much for thank singing you. to all of us the other day at the rehearsal. Thank you. My Happy favorite. New Year, Happy thank Holidays. Y a tots vosaltres, amigues i amics, moltíssimes gràcies. Us desitgem també uh, en persona molt bones festes, molt bon any i per un any vinent ple d'entrevistes com aquestes. Gràcies.